A pleasant good evening to all my favorite people. For all those who are visiting this channel for the first time, I just want to welcome you guys and hope everybody is doing well. For all my friends and family who had kids going back to school this week or last week, I want to wish everybody a safe and a very blessed term this year and hope that you guys are keeping safe. Today, I feel like we feel like having something sweet and I decide to make fudge, caramel fudge because I had some requests for that. So today I made caramel fudge and I wanna share that recipe with you guys. So for the fudge, I have my ingredients here and I'm gonna show you what it is before I put, start putting them together. I have half a cup of brown sugar. I have four cardamom here. I'm gonna add for flavor. In here I have one can of sweetened condensed milk and I have one can of evaporated milk. I have some vanilla extract. And in this pot, I'm doing it in a pot because sometimes when you're making fudge, it tends to splatter up and you can get born if you're doing it in um, like a shallow or um, a, like a pan. You need something like high so you can save your hands from getting burned. So I have two tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna add, start adding my milk. And here I have my condensed milk. And this is like helping the fudge to cook faster because this is already on the thicker side and this is sweet. So that's why we're not adding too much more sugar. I'm just gonna add the half half a cup of brown sugar because the brown sugar is gonna give it a nice color what you're looking for in a fudge. The butter is gonna help to give it a nice, smooth and shiny kind of consistency. And the evaporated milk, I have to wash my hands. Oh, let me mask it. And the evaporated milk is gonna add that creaminess that you you're looking for this can also be made with cow's milk if you're in guyana or this can also be made with um your regular milk that you sweeten tea two percent three percent whichever milk you're using for your tea that can work as well um and i'm gonna add the sugar in here so everything goes into the pot for my cardamom you can add nutmeg and um cinnamon if you like but today i'm gonna add cinnamon um cardamom because cardamom have a nice uh very flavorful kind of um flavor and before i add the cardamom i like to pound the cardamom a little bit sorry matt so i can open up the flavor when it's in the pot i'm just using something heavy to um pong it a little or you can just mash it with your knife or something and then just put it in here that's it's one add, right there i have four it add a rich rich flavor to this fudge so before it start ticking up i'm gonna take out back the cardamom i'm just gonna leave it in until it warm up a little and just before it start thickening up i will take out the cardamom so we can have that smooth consistency so we're gonna move over to the stove and then I'll show you guys as I'm going along I forgot to add my vanilla extract and I'm just gonna add one teaspoon you don't have to put too much if you're doing a bigger batch then add feel free to add more I'm just adding one teaspoon and I'm gonna store this up while it's warming up and the butter will, will get melted so I still have the butter here I took it out of the fridge and once the sugar grain is melted it's gonna start cooking very fast and I will have to be storing uh, a lot like all the time so I'm gonna keep doing this until it stiffen up a little and then I'll show you guys how we look for the next step but I have to take it from this liquid stage to um, a very thick consistency here it is bubbling away and it's starting to get thicker uh, if you look at the edge of my uh, spatula you can see that it's starting to tick up so what I what I'm gonna do at this point I'm gonna fish out those cardamom 
because once this gets harder, I, it will be a hard, a, a very slim chance for me to get those cardamom out. So I already have one and I have three more. So I'm going to keep turning and when I get to a different stage, I will show you guys again how it looks. But at this moment, I have to keep storing it. So I have it on medium now because it's at a um, peak spot here. Anytime now, I'll have to take it off. But um, it needs to go a little bit more. So if you look carefully, you'll see that it's thickening up nicely. And it's like very, very hot at this point. So I'm gonna store it in a little bit more until I can feel that it's a little bit stiffer than this. Because then you want it to form up. And Matthew just batter up, he just put some butter into um, two dishes for me. So when I put it in, and I'm ready to and I'm ready to cut it. It won't stick, and we will get a nice clean cut. So I'm gonna take you walk you guys through the step as we're going. It is getting nice and close to where I want it. So it look how nice and smooth this is looking. So nice and so smooth, and it's thickening thickening up nicely. I have the stove on low because at this point you don't want to put it too high. To, because it's gonna get too hard quickly and then it's gonna be hard to control but I just want to shout out to I had this request from about two of my viewers and subscribers for fudge so I hope you guys like this step it is very very simple thing to make just a few about six ingredients you can break that down to less than six if you don't want to add vanilla or cardamom and it takes no time at all you quickly you can get it to harden up and you will have your fudge ready in no time so i'm just gonna keep on working this a little bit more i have to be careful because i don't want it to get too hard on me on the stove and then i can't control how i want it so i believe at this point i'm gonna turn the stove off and if it if you find that it, when you take it off it's too runny you just pop it in your fridge or your freezer and let it harden up a little bit and then you're gonna be able to cut it after a while. So don't sweat too much. If you take it down a little bit too runny, it's not a big deal, but if you take it down hard, then you're gonna have a trouble getting it the way you want to. So always good to take it out when it's softer so you can pop it in your fridge or freezer. So a good chance to know when it's done, if when you're turning and you notice it's like separating from the edges or the bottom and it's starting to do that, like you can see here, you see Matt, yeah. like it's separating, that's a good chance to know that it's hardening up enough for you to take it down. So this is the point, I'm going to turn off my stove, I'll keep turning it a little on the stove on for a little bit more and then I'm going to pour them out into my container. So we're gonna pour it out. Matt, thank you for putting greasing. That looks perfect. Yeah, it's so smooth, right? Thank you for greasing up these. Be careful and don't touch the bottom because this is like so hot. For greasing these bowl for me and for putting them on these um these things to rest so it's not resting on the counter. I want to make it nice and thick. So I'm gonna put it in here. Ooh, this is so hot. Okay, I think that thickness is good and I'm gonna put the rest in here. So don't come too close. Your me. Hand, Mom. Yeah, I'm don't come too close. Camera. Just do it from far because give me some room and don't let your hand touch the pot. It's like very, very hot. This one is just as the extra we're pouring into here. But look at that, how smooth that is, right? Yeah. Okay, let me get another spoon to help take this. So. And I'm gonna wet the spoon because if I don't wet it, it's gonna stick and then I'll have trouble. We took it off the right time because it's now starting to stick to the pot. And this is, once it get hard, not look at the, that one over there. So it's smooth. So smooth, yeah. Yeah. So hopefully we, um, in a few minutes, we're gonna be able to cut it nicely and show everybody how it looks but um i can't wait to try it this smells very nice and i don't know if all my friends when they were little 
we used to fight for who who's gonna eat the rest on the spoon or who's gonna eat what's left in the pot but we used to do that when I was growing up Matthew when my mom make uh, we used to say can I have the pot can I have the spoon so we can scrape everything out and eat that part so while we're waiting for the fudge to cool down and harden up I'm just gonna show you guys what I did to my garden yesterday was a cleanup garden day and I pull out a lot of the chow rai bhaji from this area and now all I'm left with here is some green onions and I feel so sad when I'm cleaning up garden and this is a flat leaf uh, parsley um, I feel sad when I'm cleaning up garden because I know that it's coming to the end of summer and it feels like if I had a visitor from back home or something and they're going way back home and I feel so sad when that happens but this is the reality we know that summer ends after a while this pepper plant is now giving some little ones I hope it make it in time so they don't um they don't the winter doesn't come and freeze it up before I get some and the same with this one is have this one have a lot of flowers and right after the flower you will get like the pepper and I still have the poi bhaji or the malabar spinach and it's running 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 all the way on top here and there's a whole big bunch here I picked some today to put in some soup and I still have more the tomatoes I still have a lot more to ripen up there's a nice big one in here and we still have some things coming there's still flowers here for more tomatoes there's tomatoes here a lot of it but and then there is another squash coming up here one of those big ones I don't know how long this one is gonna grow but it's coming to cold weather and there's a lot of little tiny ones but I am hoping that these one will make it there is more Malabar spinach or poi bhaji in here and this area can't clean up well because the squash vine is all over this area so I don't want to pull or burst any vine and I don't want the, the vine to dry up and then here is a nice uh, bitter melon or corilla coming here I don't know if I'm gonna get any after this one because the even right now it's so cold even before it get to seven o'clock it's like so cold and this is still going my rosemary and I will take that with me inside there is more tomatoes there's a whole lot of peppers still to ripen and a whole bunch of other ones in here so I'm just look at this one how many pepper we have in here I can't wait and there's a lot more of tomatoes to ripen up a whole bunch and another some other squash here I don't know hopefully we can we will get some nice days of sun and these ones will still come but um, I'm feeling very very sad when it's coming to end of summer and this pepper plant have so many little pepper plants and um, pepper so many little pepper and these are the spinach we're always picking leaves rosemary and thyme and this is the strawberry plant all around here is strawberry running everywhere and this is the celery and this one is flourishing nicely the celery stays a long time so whenever I'm making fried rice or chow mein or something I usually pick celery look in there how nice this is coming this is flourishing so nicely with the celery and this can hold up to some cold weather but I'm feeling sad when summer's coming to an end over here I clean up nicely yesterday this was where my cucumber plant was these were bean plant but they're dying away now and here I have some Swiss chard they're looking nice 
these ones go a long way to all the way down to October and my mint here and in here all these little mint is still going and there's pepper in here lots and lots of pepper that I still hope I can get in here have a whole bunch of other pepper hanging everywhere and there is another pepper plant here as well and I have my potatoes here and I just want to show you guys look at here that's my potato it's not I don't think it's ready yet because it's green so I'm gonna give it a few more days and then I I'm gonna pull them I have two root of potato and the leaves are drying and they say when the leaves are drying that's when the potato is ready but I'm gonna have to find the other one because I'm only seeing one of the potato and I know I have two maybe that one is already dried up and I'm gonna have to dig in the ground to find the potato but and this flower plant is just blooming so yeah I'm gonna miss my garden to come out in the backyard and look at the peppers look at the plants and enjoy all the beauty of nature very soon but i'll have to make much of what's coming in the winter weather i'll still try to come out in the backyard and do stuff with the kids but i am gonna miss these plants as if they were my family visiting some young squash there but i don't know if i'm gonna get them so yeah this is how the garden is looking right now i'm slowly st slowly starting to clean it up and we're gonna keep these green onions can stay a long time till October so I'm gonna keep them as long as I can and then when it's really really cold then I'll have to take pull them out and that's it for the garden today guys look at that beautiful yellow pepper that's hanging there so here is our beautiful caramel fudge and I cut them into small squares because I don't want to have big, big chunks. When I'm giving the kids, they're not getting too much of a big piece of sweet, but this, I had a bite and it tastes so, so mouth watering. It is actually creamy and milky, not too much on the sugar side because remember I only use half a cup of brown sugar. So this is actually melting. If you look on the top, you can see how shiny it's melting when you buy this. So I'm gonna do a taste and let you guys know. The kids can't wait, they line up behind me <laughs> to get a piece, but um, everybody is excited to get a bite right now. So guys, here we have our caramel milk fudge. And I think the best two people to try this is the two girls because they are waiting patiently. So Jessica and Natalie, is say hi. Hi. They're going to try the um, fudge for you guys. So make your pick, guys. Uh, this one. Okay. So take your bite. <laughs> and Natalie, you're going to tell us what you think. It's so flavorful and creamy and yummy. Yeah? It's creamy? Okay. Okay. Enjoy and Jessica let, let us um know what you think about the fudge. Okay. Let me see how when you bite it how it looks. Wow. That's a real caramel milk fudge. Look at that guys. Put it up like yeah. And it does taste caramelly. It's so nice. It's so creamy. I love it guys. Yeah. Guys, you should really try this recipe. It's so amazing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our other videos, subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Until then, we will be enjoying these yummy fudges. Bye for now. Okay.